Hello, so it's Evan Roberts here, Roberts Piano Houston, and I'm making this video for a client. He's in Belize, he wants to check this piano. I haven't made a video in a while of it, so I thought I'd make another one. Now, the piano comes in a very rich, I think it's mahogany, but let me know if I'm wrong. It comes with a bench, it's matching, it's the original bench, but they've uh, modified the top. It's got a nice leather padded top, which is quite comfortable, really. It's very, very nicely padded. I believe this is an animal skin top and I'm not 100% sure if it's original uh, or if it's full. Also comes with the traditional American console style music, de music desk. Now there are some cosmetic imperfections on the piano. For instance here, there are some little scrapes on the front. The biggest damage here is on the legs on the front. They've been chipped away uh, there. And some other cosmetic damages. I can touch some of these up. Same on this front, on the left hand side, same damage. Some on the music rack here, some chips. So, so generally it's got several small marks on the cabinet. It's not in, it's sort of an A or, uh, sorry, B quality um, in terms of little things here and there. And the two damages on the front there. The keys are in good condition. Tiny bit yellowed on the front. Well, I can clean them a bit better here on the front. We've replaced the flanges on the back of the hammers, which is a uh, quite an expensive job actually. I'm just quoting someone right now. It's more than a thousand, uh, around about a thousand dollars to do because you have to line up the hammers, you have to paper them, you have to take it to transport to and from, plus the parts. So we've done that already in this piano. We've also replaced the tapes on the fronts of the key of the action. They've been replaced for new ones. We've done that here. Now the client was asking about rust and humidity because the piano is going to a tropical country, Belize. They did mention that they control the humidity in the house and if the humidity is controlled to about 50 to 60%, you are gonna, that's a good uh, guide really for keeping the humidity constant. Now a dehumidifying bar can be installed here underneath the piano uh, for an additional cost to dehumidify inside the piano if you want that to be installed. I doubt you need a humidifier system because I, uh, I don't know how dry it can get in the winter, perhaps you could let me know, but definitely a dehumidifier. If not, we can install both. The client was asking about any um, rust, and apart from some dust on the frame there, um, there's no real rust on the strings that I can point out for you. They're concerned about rust because of the tr tropical climate, and no rust up here on the top either. No damage to the felt that concerns me. Now one of the signs of humidity is uh, wood that's uh, got sort of marks on it, like clouding uh, gray marks of just where dust is collected and it's got humid and it's got stuck to the wood. And there's none of that here. The other thing is if these uh, felts have got damaged, I'll just zoom in here. The felts have got damaged, they've swollen, they've shrunk, they've swollen, they've shrunk, you can start to see the discoloration on them. Now this one is a little bit loose and we can Repair that, make sure it's okay. I'll check these before they go out. This one needs to be, uh, there is a chemical to expand this or to be replaced. The piano also comes complete with a soft rail, which sounds like this. I've also tested the the uh, weight of the pins, the torque, and it's very healthy. Mm -hmm. 